Hey guys, so today I went to Sonic and I'm gonna do a mukbang. Okay, I forgot that today was the last day of school and it's like a half day, so all the kids were out by like 11.30. So when I went there, the line was super long, but I got my food. So, Today I have the jumbo popcorn chicken. These are really good. And then I have mozzarella sticks, a classic. And I also have ocean water. Okay, I always see ocean water on the menu, but I've never gotten it because I'm scared to try it. Because there's so many drinks at Sonic, I always stick to the good ones. Like, I always get the blue raspberry slush with nerds in it. Oh. That's so good, but I'm going to be trying ocean water for the first time, so we can consider this like a review. Now, let me open it. It smells good. Oh, I don't know if I can... No, I can't show it. Okay. Um, well, okay, let me do this. It's blue. Um, it has the really good Sonic ice. I love this ice so much. Okay, now let me put the lid back on and taste test. Oh wow, I wasn't expecting it to be sparkling. But it's pretty good. I don't even know what ocean water is. Let me look it up. I always see it because I like tropical flavors and stuff. So I always see the ocean water and I'm like, that looks good. But then I resort to the blue raspberry slush with nerds because that's just really good. According to the Sonic website, it says, despite its name, it tastes nothing like the ocean, which is probably a good thing. But it is blue with a tangy flavor and a hint of coconut. Okay, well, blue is one of my favorite flavors. That's kind of weird to think about, but if you do think about it, blue is like, like blue food dye means that it's highly artificial, whatever you're eating or drinking, and it always has that one distinct flavor, like the flavor of blue. It's just so good. So yeah. Let's get into this. So, popcorn chicken, yum. Also, I forgot what I was gonna say. This is really good. And then, I have a mozzarella stick. Dang it, I thought it'd be more stretchy. Maybe it's cooled down. But it's still pretty good. Mmm. I love mozzarella sticks. Okay. Oh. That's really good. I really like that. Okay, so I want to talk about this person. Lots of y'all probably already know her, but her name is Lil Tay. And honestly, okay, this is really controversial on the internet. Some people love her, some people hate her, some people are indifferent. I'm kind of on the indifferent, but kind of on the loving side. Because if you think about it, it's a character. That's not a real person. It's like... Miranda Sings, <laughs> that's not a real person. It's just a character that's played on the internet. And that's the exact same case with Lil Tay. She does all this crazy language. Youngest flexor of the century. It's not real. Like she poses in front of cars. If you look closely, I remember this one video. I think she was posing in front of a Jaguar or something. And 
you just see this guy in the background just watching her. I'm pretty sure that's the actual owner of the car. Because she's just standing in front of it in the middle of the street. Just like recording her video. So I'm pretty sure she just either finds the cars in the street. Or she like... Because sometimes she's with rappers and stuff. Because she's so big now. So maybe she just uses her their cars. But also... I saw this rumor that... The account is run by her brother, and her brother forces her to do all these things. But honestly, I don't think that's the case. Because, yeah, it is run by her brother, because I saw this one video where he's, like, directing her to do stuff. But I don't think she's being forced, because her mom is there. And I think, like, yesterday or two days ago, she was on Good Morning America. Ooh. That was good. Okay, anyways. <clears throat> she was on Good Morning America. And she was with her mom and brother. And she looked, she sounded completely normal like a sweet little girl. Like any nine-year-old should be. And there was nothing wrong. But one thing that was funny. Okay. <laughs> Hold on. She was on GMA, and she was just talking about what she does, and how she doesn't care about the haters, because she's nine, and like, that doesn't faze her at all, but also, they are talking about how she's a straight A student, and how she's a normal girl, and then she was like, oh yeah, I'm a Harvard dropout, <laughs> And then a news reporter is like, oh, really? What city is Harvard in? And she was like, <laughs> um, I kind of forgot now. <laughs> so it clearly shows this is just a character. Like, it's not real. Like, the whole money aspect? I don't know about that. <clears throat> like, does she actually make money off of these videos and stuff? I don't know. The cars are definitely not hers. But I know her mom used to be a real estate agent in LA selling like million dollar homes and she quit because of all the controversy. But that shows that they're probably kind of a wealthy family. Because real estate in LA is crazy. We can make so much money. Like one time I watched this video about People going to, like, in L.A., there's this one street called Rodeo Drive. There's just all these high-end shop, like, Louis Vuitton, Prada, Gucci, whatever. And these guys, they were going up. And, like, since it's all these high-end shops, um, on the side of the road, it's just all the most expensive cars, like Bentleys and stuff. So they just like walk up to the owners of the cars and just ask them what they do for a living. And a bunch of them are real estate. Because if you think about it, real estate, when they sell a house, they get a portion of the profit or like the portion of how much the house sold for. So if you're selling houses for like 20 million, you're gonna make a lot of money. Let me look up the exact percentage. <coughs> Oops. <laughs> okay. LA, the average salary for a real estate agent is $83,000, which that's a lot of money. And then if you're a real estate agent that specializes in like those, like Beverly Hills, all that, you're going to make a lot of money. So if she was selling like those expensive homes, they're gonna make a lot of money. Okay. No, I'm running out of food. I only have two mozzarella sticks left. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
nine popcorn chicken. This is really good, I like it. I wasn't expecting it to be sparkling. I thought it would be like a juice or something. But I guess it's a soda. <clears throat> Pick my Tesla shirt. I want a Tesla so bad. I also wouldn't mind working there in the future. I think it's a really good company. Because one of the biggest things for me is I was thinking about engineering and stuff and one thing that engineers do wrong is harm the environment. And like all these engineering practices, like the oil and stuff, okay, they're like, no, just all the stuff they do aside from the renewable side, which I'll get into. but. They make all these things that like cause pollution and stuff and it just harms the environment. But then you have the renewable energy companies like Tesla, which specializes in electricity and solar power. Cause they have their whole line of solar stuff like panels for roofs and then just like panels for the whole city to charge off of. And I think that's really good because it's combining like design and aesthetics with renewable energy. So it looks good for both the consumer and the environment. And I want to work for a company like that. And Tesla is just really cool because Elon Musk is just cool. And yeah. I really like the design of their cars and I really want to work in like design aspect of stuff. So that would be really good. I'm really interested in car design and stuff. So that would be really fun. But we'll see where life takes me. Oh. This is making me gassy. Whew. Okay, it's been making me kind of angry lately. So, Snapchat. What are you doing? Literally the new redesign of the app every one or two weeks. And I don't understand what's going on with them. Cause when that first big redesign hit, there was such a disapproval rating. Everyone was like, so angry and even celebrities were starting to boycott snapchat but then people got used to it and they redesigned it again to like bring back some old features and since then they just keep changing it like moving stories from the right side to the left side then moving stories back from the left side to the right side then making a whole new group tab for groups and then taking away that tab for groups and then making a tab for adding people and then putting it back at the top and then putting it back there. And then the map, you can squeeze out to do the map or you can swipe down and see the map from there. And then when you swipe down, you don't even see your profile. You have to click the thing at the top. It's so like they keep changing stuff and it's honestly getting so annoying because every time a new redesign comes out, it's just like, are you serious? I have to get used to this again? I don't know if they're trying to get their people to stop using the app or what. Because it's not that good. It's like they're in their midlife crisis or something. So yeah. I only have one mozzarella stick left.
I wonder if they make a slushy version of this. Oh no, am I almost out? Oh! I'm almost out because they fill it up with like this much ice. Dang it. But the ice is good, I'll just eat that. But I always get the blue raspberry slush, but I've never really tried any other slush. I've tried, I think it was grape cherry. I tried that slush. But like, I've always wanted to try the orange. And I also have blue coconut. This was blue coconut drink. That's what the description said. And I know they have a blue coconut slush. So maybe I need to try that sometime. Last bite. Whew. That was good. Also, Sonic drinks are pretty cheap. Their happy hour is two to four, and it's half off. So like, this drink, I think it was like three dollars or two. So half off, that's like one or 150 for this giant drink. That's a pretty good deal. So yeah. Let me just get my mint. Wait, I forgot what kind of mint Sonic has. I hate the chewy mints. Like, you put it in your mouth and it just crumbles. I don't like that. I like the ones that are completely hard. No! It's the crumble one. But maybe if I don't bite it, it'll be okay. I'll try and do that. Okay. Well, thanks for tuning into this mukbang. Tell me what kind of mukbang I should do next. I really like Popeyes. I might do that. But put in the comments below what kind of mukbang I should do next. Like what kind of food or just any fast food name. And then don't forget to leave a like on this video. Smash that like button. And then while you're down there, subscribe and turn my post notifications on. When you subscribe, there's a little bell. You turn it on and it'll notify you every single time I post. Okay, peace.